Tonight is June the 15th, 2014, and I'm going to make a video where we measure and compare um, the output power of an RF amplifier using this little ICOM at 14.250 uh, megahertz, and we'll be reading it here on this little digital readout for a uh, bird line section. I have a uh, 250 watt 2 to 30 megahertz slug in it. This is forward power. And it's running into this uh, dummy load, 600 watt 50 ohm. Works great. Uh, this is a uh, Tektronix 2467. It's a 350 megahertz scope. We're only going to be using it down at uh, 14 megahertz, so our accuracy should be quite good. I have a 10x probe on it, and it does have the sense pin in it, so uh, it will be reading right now. I've, I've been playing with it. See as I move the the delta volts scales up and down. Our readout is correct. I have been uh, very careful that compensating the probe so that we get an accurate reading. Thank you Alan for keeping me straight here making me do a better job and we'll compare the two. Now this question came up because as we often all do we cruise YouTube for whatever we're having fun, we're enjoying things, and there was a question that a gentleman asked, and he said, do bird watt meters, does this set up here, does it measure average power or RMS power? And there's where the, uh, the sticking point came in, and I received an email last night from, uh, an e uh, from a YouTube posting and I was informed very politely and, and graciously that uh, the word RMS power does not exist. It's a misnomer and I understand that now and I can show you very clearly why, why it is such. And the, and the answer is going to be that these watt meters and the way that we determine it by measuring the RMS voltage, we're going to measure actually peak to peak voltage, but we're going to convert peak to peak to RMS square it and divide it by 50 ohms and we'll get this number. So it's actually called average power. You can also call it continuous power or you don't even have to use an adjective like average or continuous. There's only two types technically, there's only two types of power technically and that is peak power and average power. There's no such thing as RMS power. Again, I'll show you why I can say that. And uh, thank you to the uh, YouTube viewers that uh, brought this to my attention. So, what we'll do here, put this guy in uh, transmit and in CW mode. And there happens to be its output, about 94 watts. This is going to be a chore because I only got one hand. And here is what we read down here. Let me... Uh, Oh goodness, let me get something, turn it upside down or something so I can keep the key on. Didn't plan for this contingency, did I? Okay, there we go. Key down. Sorry for the fumbling. And then we move our, these guys, there's the bottom, and there's the top. That's about as close as we can get. It says to 194 volts, peak to peak. Okay, the next thing we got to do is convert 194 volts, peak to peak, to uh, RMS. Hopefully my kitty cat wanna, won't attack me while we're doing this. 194 volts peak to peak 
equals we would put in uh, 194 enter and then we'll divide that by 2 times the square root of 2 uh, 2 enter 2 square root times divide we get 68.59 volts RMS 68.59 volts RMS and if we square that we get and then we divide that by 50 ohms we get 94.09 watts 94.09 watts this is continuous power or average power which completely agrees with this one right here dead on can't complain about that dead on I made one earlier and I didn't have my probe compensated properly and I mean, it was just sloppy and I came out about 6% error anyway what it boils down to and the reason uh, that we want to quit using the word RMS power, although it's prevalent, it's everywhere. I've heard it, seen it, and used it for decades, but I never thought about it. But here's here's the reason: when you make a, when you look at a sine wave, let's call this voltage, and of course the the, the current looks the same, a sine wave of current. We know this is peak. We know that RMS, RMS is just a little bit below it, and it's actually equal to one over the square root of two times the peak voltage, which is approximately equal to 0 0.707. I think pretty much everybody knows that. There's also another value right here we call average. And it is actually equal to 2 over pi. That's its exact number, which is approximately 0 0.64. Well, when we get the RMS value of the voltage, and then down here and with current, when we get the RMS value of current, and we multiply power equals uh, e squared over r e r m s power average a v g power average equals e squared over r we're not going to call this rms because it's not rms the reason that it's not rms i'll show you again let me draw one more thing here what we do when if this is if this is a dc voltage what we're doing when we multiply RMS voltage times RMS current, we're getting an equivalent DC level of power. RMS voltage times RMS current gives us the same heating power as that equivalent amount of DC. And this is measured in watts. And it's a steady state condition. It's not an RMS condition. To be an RMS condition it has to be changing because what we do when we measure RMS voltage or current what we're actually doing is we're measuring, we're making thousands of measurements depending on our instrument of points all along the sine wave of the voltage or the current. What we do, we make, a, we make all these measurements and then we square that number and then we add them all together and divide that number by the number of points. So then we would have the mean of the uh, squares. And then if we take the square root of that, then we get the root mean square value. So our power is not changing. What we're comparing these two, these two are changing. But what we're doing is getting an equivalent, an equivalent DC steady state 
power equivalent, which is not changing. So you cannot put the letters RMS in front of power. There's only two kinds of power. There's peak and there's average. Now I can imagine why back in the uh, old days, so to speak, or, and even now, we probably don't use the word average and we don't use the word average power in things like stereos because I'm guessing nobody wants to buy anything that's average. I'm really serious. This is, there's, there's probably some sales gimmick to it. And um, uh, we want to know what kind of power it is. So uh, you can't call it average power. You can call it continuous. If you look at high-end amplifiers like uh, Macintosh and what have you, they will uh, tell you that it's continuous power. But they don't say RMS. If you look at a bird watt meter manual and you read it, you don't actually have to read the entire manual because you can download it and uh, search it in PDF form. The word average and the words RMS or root mean square is not even in their book. That's got to be telling us something. See, they know what they're talking about, so they don't say our meters measure average power or RMS power, which we're going to quit using. We're going to strike that word from the English language. I was thinking about making some signs that says RMS power, you know, with a red line through it. But anyway, uh, I'm just showing you some things around here while I'm babbling on. This is my old uh, 30K one. I got an amp. I got a video on it. This is a, a large uh, antenna tuner I use. It works really good. It's split stator type cap over here, the inductor. It certainly didn't need a um, vacuum capacitor over here. But anyway, I had it, so I got to use it. So there you go. Uh, if you measure RMS voltage and currents, and you do the standard DC type math, power equals E square of R, or power equals I square R, you're going to get the same reading as your as your bird watt meter gives you. We're going to call it, let's call it real power. Let's just call it power. Power in watts. It's not RMS. So that actually, hopefully, answers the question about what kind of power a bird watt meter measures. It measures average power, technically speaking, or continuous power. So there you go. I've already posted um, two other videos and I may leave them out there just for discussion because discussions have already started on them and I'm hoping to propagate uh, a better understanding of that word and quit using it and I thank the gentleman that uh, informed me of it last night and brought it to my attention. It's just one of those things that we've we've used for so long. Mercy, I'm 64 years old, been a ham radio operator for over 50 years and just never thought about it. Just never thought about it. But there you go. Your bird watt meter, your bird watt meter measures average power. But that average, got to remember, that average is not an average that is determined by this average voltage and average current here. Those are two different averages. Got nothing to do with average power. So I do indeed hope this helps.